So as you know, I'm a dermatologist and a dermatopathologist. I think a lot of folks have a good grasp of what a dermatologist does. We're doctors who diagnose and treat various rashes like eczema, psoriasis. We also treat skin cancers like melanoma and basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, etc. Many of us do cosmetic treatments like Botox and filler and various laser treatments. What I get asked a lot though is, what is a dermatopathologist? So a pathologist is a behind the scenes doctor. We're the doctors who help the clinicians, who are the doctors on the front line, arrive at a specific diagnosis which helps them administer the care their patient needs. As a dermatopathologist, I'm a pathologist for dermatologists. So there's two facets to what I do. I see patients and I perform biopsies on patients and I interpret the biopsy specimens for my own patients to render a specific diagnosis. I also operate a boutique dermatopathology laboratory for which I read specimens for outside doctors in the New York City area. They'll see their patients, they'll perform a biopsy, they'll send it to my laboratory, I will interpret the specimen, render a very specific diagnosis that enables them to care for their patients. Let me show you my lab. So I'm sure some of you have gone to a dermatologist and you've had something taken off of your skin and they put it in a little bottle that looks like this. Well, let me show you what happens to this bottle. The bottle arrives to my laboratory. What we do is we take the specimen out of this bottle and the first step is, is what's called grossing the specimen. We measure the specimen and all of that is annotated on the final report, which I'll show you down the road. Um, after the specimen is grossed, we place the specimen in one of these little cassettes here and then it goes into what's called a tissue processor, which are a bunch of solutions which prepare the biopsy specimen for interpretation under the microscope. This is the tissue processor. So the tissue runs through a series of solutions for several hours and at the end, the tissue is fully processed, which means it's ready to be placed on a slide to be interpreted. The next step is embedding that tissue in paraffin. It's basically like candle wax. We place the tissue in there, which enables a very precise blade to cut the tissue into very, very tiny sections, like a super fine slice of bread. And then that tissue itself is placed onto a slide. That's all done here with this equipment. After the tissue is placed on the slide, we come over to actually stain the tissue. That basically provides color to the biopsy specimen and by doing so, I'm able to tell what the specific cells are, if there's cancer, if it's a rash, I'm able to interpret very specifically what's going on in the slide to render my specific diagnosis. So in the stainer, the tissue is run through various solutions to provide whatever the color is that I'm staining for. So typically what we use is something called a hematoxylin and eosin stain. That's sort of the standard stain for pathologists. After the tissue is stained, it dries, and then we place the slides into one of these booklets, and then this booklet is placed on my desk, it's full of slides, and then I read them and render a diagnosis. So when I come in in the morning, I basically have a stack of what are called requisitions, which have all the patient's information on there, their name, their date of birth, etc. But more important for me, it tells me a little bit about what the clinician is seeing. Are they looking for a rash? Are they looking to diagnose a skin cancer? All that information is on the requisition form. These are the slides. So basically, each slide corresponds to something on the requisition form. So sometimes the patient has three biopsies, so it'll be listed as an A, B, or C on the requisition, and basically I render a diagnosis for each one of those specimens. Each specimen is its own unique, has its own unique diagnosis. Um, so what I do is I look at the slide with my microscope here, and I have a numeric code that corresponds with all these diagnoses in my head. So like for instance, 1A is a basal cell carcinoma, 4Q is a compound dysplastic nevus, etc., etc. I write that down on the requisition form, and then my staff will just enter in literally that numeric code, whether it's 6B or 1A, and that renders a very specific diagnosis, which will appear on the report. So this is it. This is the end result. This is the pathology report, which contains the specific diagnosis that the doctor needs to take care of his or her patient. So that's it. That's what I do. I'm a dermatologist and a dermatopathologist. This is a big part of my practice, and I'm glad I got to share it with you guys. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Let's get it.